Good afternoon, General Counsel. Today is Sunday and it's partway through the day and I am joined now by Reverend Miriam Spees. Reverend Miriam preached the sermon at this morning's General Council opening worship service. And I have her here today to reflect a bit on that experience and to talk about the words, uh, the wisdom, the hope that she offered this morning to the court and to the church as we gathered in worship. So Miriam, welcome. Thank you. So glad you're here. Thanks for taking the time to chat on what I can only imagine is a, a very full day for you. So thank you. So Miriam, what was your thought when you first got invited to preach at the opening worship of General Council 43? When Bob asked me, I, I had to think a few days hmm. to think about it, to sit with it, to pray with it, and pray about why I was being asked, mm. whether, whether it was a case of wanting to show the diversity of the church, mm -hmm. or whether it was a case of, of touching my theological reflection, or a bit of both. It's always both, mm -hmm. right? So after some conversations with those that love, yeah. I didn't call Bob back and was pleased and privileged mm -hmm. to say yes. Um, and privileged for us to witness the message you shared. Um, and, and so this morning you talked a bit about um, the fact that, that as a church, as people of faith, we don't have the luxury of despair. Um, and we were just chatting before, uh, drawing in the theme of, of this message that uh, someone we both really are fond of, uh, musician Martin Joseph, has a song about that. Um, and, and Martin is here for the Festival of Faith this weekend, which is pretty cool. Um, and so you drew out that message, this theme, that um, we don't have this luxury uh, to despair. And, and what does this mean to you? Why was this um, what you saw as the, the message that you wanted to share with the church this morning? His words come from uh, spending time in Palestine. And I also spent some time there, and that's where my call to ministry mm -hmm. first began. And I saw that hope live out more fully than we do here sometimes. So they don't have that not really that privilege to lose hope because otherwise life ends, life ends, yeah. right? So, so I think it's crucial for the church to be reminded again and again that as Known as all hope is in Jesus, all life as church, all life as disciples continues as we seek as the kingdom of God and seek a new and better world. Thank you for that for that sense of hope, for that sense of conviction and and strength, um, and for that being the message that with which we started off our general council meeting. How appropriate and how important as we enter into this meeting that will 
give us lots of opportunities for hope and also call us to, to make lots of important decisions. Yeah. So one last question for you, Miriam. What's, what's it like to pray with and prepare a sermon that's going to be preached at the opening worship of General Council? Is it similar or different to your kind of weekly practice, a weekly practice of preparing a sermon? Or did it feel different? Was there a weightiness to it? There was some uh, a different weight to it. And a different... You put into a different congregation and uh, patient I must we prepare for a reading. So I did all my readings and praying and stuff the same way, but I was praying about this congregation and this time and place. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for um, for all that you offer the church and for your amazing leadership and especially uh, thank you for taking the time to chat with me today and for the message of hope you offered us this morning. So blessings. Thank you. And we'll continue with more throughout the day, General Council. Uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs>